capacidade uh, is a, a transnational meeting organized uh, through Bose and uh, through the heritage of our big records, the Houthi and and uh, I must say that uh, Yehudi man is uh, a very, very important reference, more, more important today than uh, in other moments, because of his message of peace, of uh, education, of mutual respect of common values. Many European common values, but European common values open to the diversity of all the world. That's why uh, I must uh, say a special word to my friends vanished. You know how we like you. We like your reference, your presence. Uh, that's why it's very important to have between us vanished. Because exactly of importance of the common values, and because of the importance of art. Art is the beginning of education, of life, of culture. Art is creativity. Art is learning. That's why I sent you uh, from the bottom of my heart because not only for your presence but uh, for your support, for your engagement, for your friendship. Thank you and uh, uh, it is uh, for me, as you know, we know since 10 or 20 years, uh, and we had always a very, very good relation. Uh, but, uh, which is, is very, very fundamental, is to say that the message of uh, uh, the Udi family is present. The only memory is between us and uh, uh, his memory. Uh, because he uh, uh, was a genius, political genius, as you said. Uh, we remember uh, a wonderful moment uh, in the beginning of the uh, Expo 98.
that governs here. Uh, repentance or the afterthought because we understand purity on the basis of understanding of art and only in the hell third moment literacy all the elements are very very important learning is uh, the uh, <coughs> articulation the coordination between these three elements that we don't without heart, without a beginning of heart, without an understanding of heart. That's why uh, when the uh, Hungry uh, man uh, proclaimed the importance uh, of the solidarity, solidarity of diversity, uh, we have many cultural perspectives. But uh, we have a simple element which is human dignity. Universal human dignity. That's why we have the rights, freedoms, and we have the, an universal liberation of human rights. One day in a university, we made an exercise. It is, it is possible to begin with duties and responsibilities. You know what have been the result? The common declaration of rights is signal of the configuration of duties and responsibilities. Why? Because when we have the right, we have the responsibility. And that's, that's why for Yahudi Nightmare, it was very important to understand the diversity of peoples. And then when uh, we see in Europe in the world, uh, some uh, dangerous, some dangerous elements of fanatism we must uh, have in the beginning. The role of art, the role of common respect, the role of diversity. We remember that uh, the work of Yehudi Babi concerning gypsies, the culture of gypsies. Understanding that uh, we must uh, have a common understanding. That's why art is a common language. A common language. You see the importance of understand that uh, first of all art then democracy, then literacy, and that's why we begin by the perspective of learning during all life. That's why it's important. This initiative. This initiative. Because the capacity is exactly the understanding of uh, education for all, enduring all life. Is the main, the main objective, strategic objective our, of our cooperation. Well, I must say to Antonio Guerrero, Grasa. Para nosotros ha sido un gran placer poder hacer este proyecto juntos. Por eso, muchas gracias. Uh, eh, para nosotros, para tenemos, tenemos aquí con nuestro Enrique, para un crespo, para un amigo, uh, miembro del Centro Nacional de Cultura, le hablo.
Junta de Asociación en Portugal and uh, thank you the board for your interest and your wonderful work uh, and uh, I must uh, say that uh, the presence of Spain, Anglia, Germany, Italy, Belgium is for us very very important and, uh, and uh, uh, concerns exactly the main objective we have in life speak in the name of the International Foundation here represented by my friend Frederick Schmidt and I have the honor to be there also <laughs> well but you represent here our uh, foundation well education for all and you know that uh, when the uh, UNESCO adopted this objective in uh, 1990, uh, 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 the former objective was fight against and after. <coughs> you know, we changed the world. Because of the because the products of this different elements concerning the learning. Learning is art, learning is chemistry, learning is literacy, learning is practice. Practice. And mainly friendship, mainly community, peace, culture of Peace. That's the main object. A very, I must say to you, a very, very difficult object. It's not easy. When we see all the world, we see many objectives of war, of violence, of fanatism. Uh, uh, that's why our world. Every day, we education, science, culture, art, and other things, always, always, peace as always. Thank you very much. I don't know uh, something to say to add in his mind. If he wants to say a little thing. Yeah, uh, two words about the Centre National Cultura, it is an old institution founded uh, eight years after the end of the war in Europe, in uh, May 1945. Uh, uh, eight days, uh, the war was uh, continued because, because the war uh, continued till August, or August as you know. But uh, we, are, we were founded uh, for eight years after the end of the war. It was a, 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 a very crucial element because to profit the new conditions after a terrible war with millions of deaths, with the <coughs> destruction of uh, uh, the world and uh, a group of young people, the last uh, died uh, uh, five uh, months ago, it was uh, our, our member number one, the uh, architect in Consolidate uh, It's a uh, very, very uh, important reference of uh, uh, architecture, pathogenic uh, uh, architecture and about the fight for the environment, for the quality of life. Well, uh, it was in uh, the end of the 90s, Helena <coughs> Vajasil, uh, she died very young, uh, but she was uh, uh, the soul of this institution, one of the souls of this institution. And uh, uh, she uh, she was uh, an enthusiastic of the project of Puli, uh, and uh, we have been together. Elena here, Edgar Morin uh, is uh, 
been together. So every time we start an international project, there is always a second country involved, or just one country, because for us, Spain and Portugal are the same uh, scenario when dealing with international projects. And since 2013, I've always been uh, implementing these projects with uh, a friend of us who is not with us anymore, uh, who is Pedro Zaragoza, and uh, I wanted to, to start my words remembering him and uh, thanking him for his great effort and uh, his willingness to, to, to create what we are today, because at the end, eight years later, Spain and Portugal continue implementing projects and uh, we are even a, a much bigger family than, than we were eight years ago. So thank you, Pedro, wherever you are smoking. Educarte, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, eh, sorry, eh, Capacitarte is a, it's a different project. Usually we, we do uh, projects where we exchange good practices between schools. So children are our main focus when, when dealing with international problems. Uh, however, having said that, uh, Capacitarte is a project that uh, focuses on adult training, on artists, which are the basics of our Muslim project. Uh, without artists, we wouldn't be anything. Uh, so uh, the idea is of, um, artists, training artists, uh, not children, but artists, training artists who will be afterwards working with schools, uh, with other institutions, who knows? But uh, it's important to train artists and to evolve as moves evolves. Uh, in fact, this project has got a very complex and heterogeneous group of partners. Uh, there are, of course, Muse associations around Europe involved, but also um, municipalities, such as uh, the municipality of Fermo in Italy, represented by uh, our friends from, from Fermo. Uh, there are um, Centro Nacional de Cultura, who, who is not uh, a Muse entity. And there are schools, two schools, one school in Fermo and one school in Portugal. And you will be asking, why schools, if they are with children? No, we, we not only have to train the children when we do music projects, we also have to train the teachers, and we also have to train the families. Because music at the end is the addition of children, plus families, plus, plus teachers, plus artists, plus all of us together. Um, Capacitarte was initially um, thought to last 24 months. So it should be over. Uh, so far, it should have ended in May, in uh, sorry, in August 2021. Uh, unfortunately, we had COVID, but fortunately, thanks to COVID, we will be together for another 12 months. So uh, we will have the chance to meet until, let's say, June, July uh, 22nd. Uh, which is very important because precisely after the COVID time we will have the chance to do training uh, meetings uh, of a key aspect which is MUSE in between artists and between schools of Europe exactly during this time so it seems uh, the best moment to, as Iago was saying to promote capacitarte between us. So that's very, very important. And I think we should pay attention to that very unique element to be able to be working together precisely during this next month. There are going to be six meetings. Two of them, well, one of them already took place, the one in Spain. This is the second meeting in Portugal, because we always do the Spanish Portuguese meetings uh, in <laughs> continued way. This is fun. Uh, and then there are going to be four more meetings. One in Italy, one in Hungary, one in Belgium, and in Germany, which is the third one, by the way. So let's let's continue on that on that road. And this is all I, I wanted to tell you. Let's let's hope that there are 
more international projects between us, hopefully more training projects of artists which are missing, uh, and let's see if, if you in, in your own countries can also lead international projects concerning the training of, of artists of the Museum Network. Thank you very much. I propose one minute in memory of this. Uh, Thank you very much.